everyone, this is Prashant, Instructor of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Uh, now I am going to explain another uh, extension of previous class. So in previous class, just we discussed about uh, the main important topic, software defined networking. Software defined networks. Software defined network. Uh, software defined networks. So we discussed in last lecture. Uh, what are what is sub, uh, SDN software defined networking uh, and applications of software defined networking what are the requirements of software defined networking what are the challenges what are the disadvantages advantages uh, these are all things are discussed in the software defined network networking so software defined networking uh, just can deal with all uh, software de uh, all uh, uh, physical devices so now we move entering into the another virtual machine just we can uh, um, deal with the, uh, all virtual machines can accommodate at one, one place only. So here uh, the, these are the things we discussed in the last class software defined networking. So here uh, the current topic is network function virtualization. So the basically the previous class SDN software defined networking can deal with uh, all hardware components available in the system. Next, all the machines are uh, going through the virtual mode that can be dealt with the, this topic that is network function virtualization. So, network function virtualization, uh, apart from that, we have to know the first introduction part of what is a network fun uh, function virtualization. Next, why network function virtualization? So, what is the significance of uh, network function virtualization? What are the advantages, uh, disadvantages? What are the benefits? What are the components involved in architecture of uh, network function virtualization uh, use cases. Uh, what are the use cases that can deal with the real time applications like that? We have to uh, know uh, further uh, section. So, architecture of network function virtualization along with the benefits, advantage, uh, difference between. So, finally, uh, difference between we have to know the software defined networking along with the network function virtualization. So, uh, with, the, uh, with this uh, topic, the session will uh, going to complete. So, at final, we are going to discuss the differences between actual software defined networking and network function virtualization. So, now we will move into the uh, first introduction part of network uh, function virtualization. So, before that, first, what are the main thing? What, what, is, what are the main components or what is the main aim of uh, software defined networking along with the network function virtualization? So, what is what? First, we have to know. The. So, here, uh, software defined networking shortly SDN. So, it is a Networking architecture with aims. What is the main aim of main significance of software defined networking here? So it will improve the overall network performance. It improves the overall network performance and make uh, networks agile and flexible by enabling a uh, dynamic and programmatically efficient network configuration. So the main aim of uh, software defined networking uh, before that, so which aims to improve the overall network performance and make networks agile uh, flexible performance by programmatically. So SDN is a technology that separates that separate uh, control plane management of network devices uh, from the underlying data planes that forward uh, network uh, traffic in order to enable more automated provisioning and policy based management of network resources. So we already know uh, in uh, in terms of software defined networking, just to be uh, compare uh, traditional networks and uh, software defined networking. So in traditional networks, uh, compulsory each data plane having one control plan. In software defined networking, it maintains centralized uh, control plane. So that they, uh, these are the main difference between traditional software, uh, traditional network uh, systems and the software defined networking. So the, that is the main aim. Next to what is network function virtualization? So network function virtualization is a, a network architecture which aims to accelerate, accelerate service deployment for network operators and Reduce cost by separating functions like fire, uh, firewall or uh, inscription for dedicated hardware and moving them to uh, virtual servers, uh, collapsing various functions into physical server, which uh, ultimately reduces overall cost. So, in order to reduce the cost or manufacturing cost of this uh, network, so we uh, go through the virtual mode. So, the entire virtual uh, things are uh, comes under network function virtualization uh, concept. So, here 
the NFE allows various networks operators to implement a, a network policy without being take care of where to place functions in network and how to route traffic uh, uh, through this function. So this is the main significance of software defined networking and network function actualization. So in one in one word, software defined networking can deal with all hardware components. So the, the hardware components can be transformed into virtual mode in network function virtualization. So this is the main concept involved in uh, software defined networking and network function virtualization. So let's start with the uh, introduction point of uh, network function virtualization here. So these are the, what are the main thing? What is the main uh, significance of uh, SDN and NFP? So this is the next uh, actual our uh, topics, uh, introduction, uh, key bent, key, key components, uh, uh, use cases like that. So network function virtualization is a network architecture that concept uh, leverages two IT uh, virtualization technologies to virtualize entire classes of network node functions into building blocks that may uh, connect to create and deliver communication services. And this is the, the first point about uh, network function virtualization along with the, it relates upon traditional server uh, virtualization techniques such as uh, those who use enterprise the uh, IT information technology. Next, uh, virtualized network function or VNF is implemented with, uh, within one or more virtual machines. So, just it can use a uh, single system or uh, one or more system uh, it can use. So, the running different software and process on uh, top of commercial of or self high volume servers. So, it can use personal way or in, uh, pers uh, used for public uh, purpose also. So, more than one. one more than one or more than two multi-purpose we can use uh, virtual uh, servers. Instead of having customer hardware, uh, appliances of each network function thereby adding vendor in Latin. So instead of uh, hardware devices, hardware appliances or hardware, ser uh, hardware servers, just we can use uh, virtual uh, machines. So this is the introduction point of uh, network function virtualization. So what is uh, network function? What are the main aim of network and, uh, function virtualization? Next with the help of need of, what is the need? What is the significance of NFE? So here with the help of NFE, it becomes possible to separate separate communication services from uh, specialized hardware like routers and uh, firewalls. So hardware components is nothing but routers, uh, uh, downhills, more uh, digital appliances like that only. So in order to separate communication servers from uh, specialized hardware uh, uh, devices. Next to this eliminates the need of buying a new hardware and network operations can offer a new servers and no demand. So the um, purpose is more, so the demand automatically will increase. So for that we need to buy uh, new servers, new computers like that. So with, uh, with this it is possible to deploy uh, network components in a matter of hour as opposed to months as with conventional networking. So furthermore the virtual uh, uh, servers can run on uh, less expensive generic uh, uh, servers. So this, these are the uh, some um, points regarding why, what is the need of network function virtualization. So in order to move in virtual mode, just we can use network function virtualization. So everything just we can see in uh, virtual mode. Next, why uh, network function virtualization? So here we have different applications or different functions. We uh, use network function virtualization. Let's start with, uh, it allows separation of communication services from hardware uh, like uh, routers and uh, firewalls we already know. So this operation means network operations can uh, new services dynamically and without installing new hardware. So already just it can run with already exi uh, existing software. So no need to uh, drive or no need to install uh, new software to operate uh, new servers. Next to deploy network components with network functions. Uh, virtualization take uh, hour instead of months like with the traditional networking. So in traditional networking it will, it will take uh, a lot of time to install or to operate with the uh, existing device. So by using NFP network function virtualization, so the action can be done within uh, less time. Next to also virtualization uh, servers on, uh, can run on less expensive generic servers instead of uh, prepared uh, hardware. Next two additional reasons to use network function virtualization here. So here we have uh, uh, three reasons. So pay as you go, first one. 
pay as you go so pay as you go mfe models can reduce cost because of business uh, pay only what they need so if you want some more only 12g 12, uh, 12 uh, gb data just you can you want to use so for that 12g 12, 12 gp data only just you have to pay for only 12 gp of data that is the meaning of pay as you go so how much you need that amount of data you can use that is the pay as you go rule next one fair appliances here so here because nfp runs on virtual machines instead of physical machines so instead of physical just our agenda is we everything we can run through the virtual mode only so here the fewer appliances are necessary and operational cost also very low so um, the hardware uh, components uh, servers are like computers the expenses uh, is very high compared with the virtual uh, machines next to scalability so Scaling the network architecture with the virtual machines is faster than and easier. It does not require any uh, purchasing additional uh, hardware. So these are the uh, three reasons to why to use uh, network, network function virtualization. Play as you go. Uh, fewer appliances like hardware uh, instead of hardware uh, components, just we can use virtual machines. Next to scalability. So in order to increase the scalability of machines, just we, we use virtual machines instead of hardware devices. Next, these are the um, why. Uh, what is the why network function virtualization we use nowadays? Next, what are the components? NFE components we have here. Different components. Uh, like uh, virtualized network function VNF, uh, network in infrastructure NFVI, next to management automation and network architecture, uh, uh, MANO, uh, next to uh, service ch chaining, uh, software defined branch and SDE van, network monitoring and security. So these are the, the main components of in order to uh, describe the network function virtualization here. So the key element, the first one is virtualized network function it is uh, vnf vnfs are network function that can be implemented as software and deployed on nfv network function virtualization infrastructure so examples it includes firewalls uh, software defined uh, van sd van uh, routing or quality of service so the, this is the first component of uh, element of key element of nfv next to nfvi a network function virtualization infrastructure so in order to it includes the uh, software and hardware that make up the environment into which NFPs are deployed. If NFVI spans multiple sites, the network connecting them is considered as part of NFVI. So this is the second component uh, element. Next to MANO, management, automation and network orchestration. Uh, so NFV MANO performs management. So it, it manages the all the uh, um, uh, functions can be done through the NFP. Here, it performs the management and the orchestration of NFPs within the NFVI. So, with the help of network function infrastructure, the nano management, automation, and orchestration can be uh, the work process will go on. Next, so this includes the functional blocks of blocks and data uh, repositories and reference points and uh, interfaces that can be used to uh, communicate while managing an orchestration of. NFBI and VNFS. So this is the uh, MANO regarding MANO. Next one, service chaining. So here the communication service providers uh, may uh, chain uh, link together services or applications such as firewalls, uh, software defined uh, wide area network like uh, like that. Next to software defined branch and SD WAN. So it network it it appliances uh, SD WAN network optimization and SD branch security functionality can be defined as NFPs, Network Function Virtualization uh, comes under NFPs. The last one, Network Monitoring and Security, it can monitor and will provide the better security other than the network. So here the firewall can be implemented using NFP. Uh, this allows uh, fully virtualized monitoring of network. Fully uh, virtualized monitoring of network follows applications of security policies for uh, traffic routed through the firewall. So it can better, uh, it provide better security uh, protocols other than the network. So these are the uh, some NFE uh, uh, use cases, virtualized uh, VNF, VNF, uh, NF, VI, uh, MANU, uh, service chaining, software defined branch, next network monitoring security. So these are the some use cases of network virtualization. Next, uh, 
architecture of uh, network function virtualization here. So the architecture contains mainly uh, three blocks. So the first one is orchestration, BNF manager, and the virtualization main infrastructure manager. So here it consists of OSS and BSS service. So here we have to uh, know the uh, virtualization uh, layer here. In virtualization layer, we consist uh, we computing V storage, V network, along with the network hardware, uh, storage hardware, and computer hardware. So here this is NFVI. This is OSS and BSS. This is in a uh, network function virtualization management and orchestration. So these are the uh, just the uh, architecture means it consists of all the um, uh, key elements of uh, NFV like uh, uh, NFV management and uh, orchestration, uh, NFV net network function virtualization infrastructure. So all the components will include in the layer. So here this is the main by execution reference points other reference points and the uh, manager NFP reference point. This symbol indicates, uh, this symbol in indicates execution reference points. So this symbol um, indicates other reference points. This plus symbol NFP main reference point. So here, these are the uh, main NFP reference points. So these all are uh, execution part from the virtualization layer to the OSS or BSS layer. So these are data lines uh, denotes other uh, reference points uh, based on the architecture of uh, NFA. So this is the uh, basic architecture of uh, network function virtualization. Next, an individual PRT hardware components such as router or gateway, uh, firewall, uh, switch, load balancer, or intrusion detection system performs a specific networking function in a uh, uh, typical uh, network architecture. The virtualization net uh, network substitute software programs that operate on virtual machines for this pieces of hardware to carry out the networking operation. So this is the main purpose of uh, to explain a network function uh, virtualization architecture. So, um, next, what are the uh, architectural components here? Centralized virtual network in infrastructure we already know. So it maintains centralized. So not in maintain individual uh, network. So it maintain for all it can uh, uh, maintain a centralized network system or network infrastructure that indicates the foundation of NFP infrastructure can be either a platform or uh, for managing containers uh, or a hypervisor that abstract the resources for computation, storing and networking and communication purpose. So this is the centralized, what is the need of centralized virtual network architecture, infrastructure, NFVI. Next, what are the applications? So the software delivers many forms of network uh, functionality by substituting for uh, the hardware elements of a conventional device uh, design. Next to framework, what is framework to manage uh, the infrastructure and to provide the uh, network functionality a framework is required. Uh, uh, framework is required. So in order to provide the network functionality, the framework will uh, uh, is required. So this is the centralized virtual network infrastructure along with applications and framework. So next, what are the benefits using uh, benefits of using NFP? So here reduced cost. So uh, in order to purchase hardware components compulsory, we need some uh, amount. So to avoid that, we go for virtual machines within the less cost, not minimum cost. So some amount of some amount will reduce by uh, using virtual machine. So here that is the one benefit reduced uh, cost. Next, faster development. So compulsory the development will uh, go 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 by increasing. Next to support uh, for for automation. So automatically the data will uh, updated like renewal part uh, data is over or data is uh, update not updated. Automatically the functions will be, uh, will be done through the automation system. So here the reduced cost to uh, physical appliances need to be purchased and configured and consume uh, space, power and cooling. Everything hardware components can be replaced by virtual machines only. So that is the main benefit of reduced cost. Next to faster development uh, support for automation. Everything can be uh, 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 automatically it will updated. Next, uh, improved flexibility. Uh, flexibility also will increase whatever we are using virtual machines. Uh, compressor as a software, NFPs can elastically scale up 
and down as needed by allocating more or uh, fewer resources to them. So the same level of flexibility is not possible with uh, physical appliances. Uh, so some physical devices come compulsory. We are getting some uh, hardware errors, some uh, instrument, uh, some component error, like uh, uh, some uh, errors. Like errors we are getting through the hardware devices compulsory. Being, you know. So uh, so that is the one of the uh, advantage. So in order to avoid that type of uh, 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 the type of uh, disadvantage just we go for uh, virtual machine so by that we have just we improve flexibility also uh, next to additional capacity to fix uh, things next to decrease the vendor lock in period so here physical service security appliances can create vendor lock in uh, because it uh, is difficult and uh, expensive to switch from one flat to one flat Form to another platform. So, in order to move one platform to another platform, compulsory we have to protect the, uh, the vendor lock in period. So, here in a piece which can run on any hardware or uh, provide the ability to select the hardware that best suit for organization's uh, use case. So, these are the some uh, <coughs> benefits of uh, uh, using network function virtualization, reduced cost, faster development, uh, support for automation system, uh, improved flexibility, and decreased vendor lock in period. So, these are the benefits. Next, uh, uh, software defined networking and hard, uh, network function virtualization already. Uh, what is what? What is what already we discussed in uh, starting, uh, lecture, starting uh, words of this lecture. So, uh, apart from that, compulsory we need to know the exact differences between NFA and uh, SDN. So, in terms of table, so here uh, this is a software defined networking uh, network function virtualization. So, this is hardware, this is software. Basically, so it can deal with the hardware components, it can deal with virtual machines. So, the hardware components can be uh, replaced by virtual machines that is in uh, network function virtualization. So, in terms of some parameters here, the differences between SDN and NFP here. So, SDN architecture mainly focuses on uh, data centers only. So, uh, data centers like uh, uh, in uh, software companies or any uh, data centers like um, so, NFP is targeted as a service provider, uh, providers or operators, service providers or operators, not to with um, group of uh, systems or group of tables like that. Next to SDN uh, supports uh, control can be already know. So, in traditional software defined, in traditional networking, so each data plan having one control plan, compulsory each data plan having one control plan, but in the software defined networking, Compulsory, it can maintain for all data plans, it can maintain centralized control plan. From that only the um, system will work. So, that is the main thing involved in software defined networking. So, here software defined networking supports control plan uh, and data forwarding plan by centralizing uh, control and programmability of network to maintain centralized network. Next in uh, NFP, network function virtualization. It helps service providers or um, operators to virtualize functions like load balancing, routing, parsing management by transferring uh, transferring network functions from ded dedicated appliances to virtual machines on virtual servers. So it can uh, maintain centralized system. It can maintain some other uh, virtual functions like load balancing. Provide. Uh, load balancing, routing, parsing management like that only. Next one, SDN uses open flow as a communication protocol. So here, by using open flow as a uh, to uh, develop communication, SDN has to be able to use the open flow as a communication protocol. But in NLP, there is no protocol determined uh, it for NLP. So we no need to uh, maintain any communication uh, between the emissions. Next to SDN supports networking function uh, foundation. So NFP is driven for uh, ETSI uh, network function working group only. Next one, uh, various enterprise networking uh, software and hardware vendors are in, uh, initiated to supporters for uh, software defined networking. But in uh, NFP, telecommunication providers, uh, operators are prime initiatives for NFP. Uh, those are in a uh, virtual mode only. Next one, Corporate IT Act as a business initiative for SDN. Uh, service providers or operators act as a business initiative, initiative 
initiator for uh, network function virtualization. Next, SDN applications run on industry standard uh, servers are suggest uh, NFE functions can run on industry standard servers only. So, uh, it can serve us on switches, hardware, switches means hardware components uh, also, but in only uh, servers means only virtual. virtual. Next, uh, SDN reduces cost of network because now there is no need of expensive switches and uh, routers. But in uh, NFE increases scalability. We already know advantages of uh, the main advantage of network function virtualization improves scalability. Uh, just uh, last slide only uh, we uh, discussed. So, it's uh, agility as, as as well as a speed of time to, uh, to market as it to dynamically allot hardware a level of capacity to network functions needed as a, a particular time of uh, period. Next, uh, what are the applications of uh, software defined networking? Uh, networking and uh, cloud orchestration of uh, software defined networking. Next, uh, the main applications of uh, uh, NFE. Uh, routers, firewalls and gateways, it can uh, uh, operate through the virtual world. Next to uh, wireless area network accelerators, uh, SLA assurance, video servers and uh, content to delivery networks. So, these are the some applications of uh, uh, network function virtualization and software defined networking. So, these are the main difference between why we are using. So, these all the applications can develop to the IoT uh, just can implement with uh, uh, implement through the IoT devices. So in order to be IoT smart devices, just we can use uh, software dependent wherever you use uh, wherever you want, just you can use uh, software dependent networking system and uh, just wherever you use as a virtual mode, so you can use uh, network function virtualization concept. So these are the main differences between software dependent networking and virtual uh, network function virtualization. So software dependent networking it maintains a central uh, centralized control plan for all data plan, all individual data plans. Uh, in uh, virtual uh, in uh, network function virtualization, just it can in virtual uh, it operates to virtualize the functions like load balancing, routing, and policy management by transferring up network. Uh, from the dedicated applications to the uh, virtual server. So, it can go through the virtual mode, it can go through the hardware mode. So, these are the some differences between uh, SDN and NFA. So, uh, these are the some advantages, lower expenses as it uh, follows, pay as you go, you already know, uh, pay as you go. So, less equipment as, uh, so just we uh, go through virtual, so less, less, uh, less equipment we need. So that is the next one. Next, scalability of networks architecture also is quite uh, very quick. So, these are the advantages of NFP. So, uh, uh, with this, the session is over. So, these are the references I referred for this lecture. Uh, some IBM uh, Geek for Weeks, some program uh, one, one uh, like that we are using uh, as a references. So, uh, remaining session continue with the next class. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.